The standard treatment of care would be the detection of the melanoma, potentially a surgery for melanoma, and a watch and wait approach. So um, particularly for high risk patients who are stage three, um, their chances of the disease progressing are high and new treatments step in earlier and potentially stop the progression of the disease. Adjuvant therapy is a term that we use to describe therapy that is given after surgery when the tumour has been completely removed. It has a predefined time period, so it's usually given for 12 months, and it's designed to go and get any tumour cells that may have escaped before the surgery and eliminate them, and by doing that, reducing the likelihood of the cancer coming back. When the melanoma was discovered in my lymph nodes, the doctors then discussed surgery options. Before I had the surgery to remove the lymph nodes, the doctors discussed various options for after-surgery treatment. Now that I'm on this side of my treatment, my surgery is completed, I'm all healed, I'm back at work, I'm enjoying life with my family. I feel very blessed that I had the treatment that I have done. So we used to do watch and wait. And so patients would be followed up by their surgeon looking for evidence of recurrence. And it, and it does make patients anxious because all the time when they get an ache or a pain, they're going, is it my cancer coming back? Or is it just something else? And so it causes a lot of anxiety. If a family member or a friend of mine was in a similar circumstance um, and they were essentially told to watch and wait and see what happened after their cancer surgery, I would encourage them to look into something a little more proactive. If there is anything that can be done to prevent a further cancer surgery or further treatment, that would always be a better idea than just sitting and waiting. So when we look at stage three melanoma, where the tumour has spread to a, a, some lymph nodes, we know that if we cut that out, a proportion of patients, their cancer will come back. Those patients, when their cancer comes back, they become stage four and are potentially not curable. So when we give adjuvant therapy, the reason it's important is we are trying to reduce the likelihood the cancer will come back and increase the total number of patients who are cured after surgery. We use adjuvant therapy to reduce the chance of something happening. So the way I would normally phrase it is we, when we get into a car, we put in our seatbelt, not because we expect to crash, but if we crash, a seatbelt reduces the risk of dying from the crash. We give adjuvant therapy not because we know that the cancer is going to come back, but if you are the person in whom the cancer would have come back despite the surgery, adjuvant therapy, which is the seatbelt, reduces the likelihood of that happening. Melanoma Patients Australia was created to ensure that no one affected by a diagnosis of melanoma walks alone. We offer a range of important support services to people across Australia. If you or your family are affected by melanoma, please contact us. We are there to help.